Hi, uh, today on Flax and Fiber Friday, uh, I am working on hopefully a successful um, dish staff for my spinning wheel. I've made some and they break <laughs> and I can't afford to get something as fancy and nice as I would probably like. This is the piece from my spinning wheel and it was gifted to me, which I just love. Her name is Maggie. Um, so this is where the distaff should go. And I did uh, drill uh, a little bit larger of a hole in this uh, for one of my attempts at a distaff. So I thought about it and a month or so ago, I went outside and I cut some juniper branches and um, just the ends of them where I knew that they were thin and then I kind of um, put them together and bent them and kind of made like a like a bow and arrow thing right like a bow and I tied twine to both of those and pulled it so that they would become curved and arched and then I put that up by my wood stove hung it up and let it dry so I've carved down some of the ends. Uh, one end was already skinny enough on all of these, but then I had to uh, carve down to make it fit a hole that I had a drill bit for. Uh, once my youngest son became old enough to really start to work with tools, he's 21 now, but um, then a lot of my drill bits started to disappear, so I'm kind of limited. So this was a piece of dowel that I had. I carved down one end so that it would fit. Is that the right end? I think so. So it would fit snugly into there. And then I took uh, thin plywood that I always have on hand because I love working with this stuff and drilled the hole. I had to carve down the dowel to fit into that center hole. And then I took a smaller drill bit and put five holes around each one of these um, pieces of uh, thin plywood so that these would slip into it. So everything was carved down. I slightly sanded uh, the branches just to get some of the bark off and really sharp pieces. Uh, so that fits in there snugly. I'm going to be, I don't know that this end piece is completely dry yet with the glue um, and then you kind of bend it in uh, and then I will glue that as well so I'm going to end up with five pieces oh, that wasn't lined up that's not the right hole and hopefully <laughs> this one will work for me see that wasn't dry enough yet uh, <laughs> Uh, since I'm done with making just about every Christmas present I was going to make, I'm itching to get back into dyeing, or I mean um, spinning and dyeing linen, uh, especially since I want to work on some plant dyes and naturally dyeing my linen to do some tablet weaving. So. When I come back, uh, this will be dry, and I'll go ahead and glue in these pieces, and then I will uh, dress the distaff, and we'll see how it works. Let's hope. So I am sitting on the floor, not at a kitchen table, uh, just because I think this works best for me. I'm still new to doing all this. So I am going to, I've got it tied around me, this ribbon, and give myself some slack here, and 
tie that for my uh, strip that I combed out. This is from Bertus Wax. If I remember, I'll put a link. Um, Bertus Wax is amazing story of um, finding old trunks like this full of flax from decades ago. I do not know how old this uh, is. It could well be older than me. Um, I don't know, but probably not uh, necessarily machine processed. It's my first experience with flax, um, having Bertus flax. This was actually Maria's flax, but the organization is called Bertus flax. Anyways, so I'm going to start. I've only done this a few times. So, just start spreading it out and into sort of spider webby thinness. Um, and then going back and forth. And so I will go ahead and, and stop this and fast forward through me spreading it out with spider hair. <laughs> Now it's spread out as good as I'm going to get it. I have only watched YouTube videos to see how to do it. And when my other distaffs worked, um, it seemed to be just fine. Uh, let's see, i got to make sure I have the right end. This is the end that will go into my um, spinning wheel. Where did I put that? Oh, here it is. Just to double check, that's the right end. Yes, that is. So that's the bottom. So I want the top to be um, <clears throat> where I tied the flax in the top. So I'm going to kind of loosen that a little bit, this, that ribbon. And let's see if I remember this correctly. I think I'll tie it on. Well, I didn't loosen. I took it off. So I am going to go ahead and put the tip of that there. And start wrapping my distaff. Holding on to the point. Like I said, I've only done this a few times. But I don't think it's exactly rocket science. <laughs> we'll see. So, that all, and it's hooking on the nails on my trunk. <laughs> I've had this trunk, I bought this at old funky antique store 40, almost 40 years ago. Okay, so here's my top of my distaff. So I am going to... Tie the flax onto the top, make sure I okay, a bit further down. I should have made the, the tip of it bigger or oh I know. I could probably like get a bead, a wooden bead and glue it on the top. So now it is Crisscross. Not too tight, not too loosely from what I understand. Crisscross until I get to the end of my ribbon. I have a fan going in here because it's freezing and I don't usually heat this room. So it's 
making a lot of noise. Um, I'm thinking of taking my spinning wheel into my bedroom, which gets heated more often. I just use space heaters except for the wood stove, so winter changes my routine or my system of doing things. So there we go. I think I think that looks pretty good. Mm, feels feels nice. So next step, and I've got still lots of chuck coming out. I don't want to. I I don't have a hat full, so I was using a um, a comb, um, a wool comb, and. Um, I don't want to lose too much of the flax. So I figure while I am spinning it, most of that chuff will come out. I am not a perfectionist. I will say that over and over and over. So there we go. So next step is putting it on my spinning wheel and seeing how it works out. And hopefully it doesn't break. I don't think it will. It feels pretty sturdy. 